Sean Combs, known by many names like Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or just Diddy, has always been a larger-than-life figure in hip-hop and the entertainment world. From a young kid growing up in Harlem to becoming one of the most successful rap moguls, Diddy has built an empire, but with fame and fortune has come serious controversy. Diddy's life wasn't always glamorous. His father, Melvin, a drug dealer, was shot and killed when Diddy was just a toddler. His mother, Janice, hustled hard, working five jobs to provide for the family. Young Sean grew up with that same grind mentality, working multiple jobs before making his mark in the music industry. He got his big break as an intern at Uptown Records in the early 90s. Even though he was fired in 1993, that setback didn't slow him down. He launched Bad Boy Records the same year, and the label quickly became a major force in hip-hop, especially with the rise of Notorious B.I.G. under Diddy's wing. By the mid-90s, Diddy was on top of the world. His tribute to Biggie, I'll Be Missing You, made him an international star, and the money started rolling in from music, clothing, and later, his spirits company with Chirac Vodka and De Leon Tequila. Over the years, he's dated A-list celebrities like Jennifer Lopez and Naomi Campbell and fathered seven children with four different women. Despite all the success, Diddy never settled down and continued to live the bachelor life. However, in recent years, Diddy's name has been dragged through the mud with various legal battles and accusations. It all started to hit the fan earlier this year when his homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security. Diddy was caught up in lawsuits from multiple women, alleging serious sexual misconduct. One woman, a former girlfriend, singer Cassie, claimed he abused her during their relationship. They reached a settlement out of court, but that wasn't the end of the drama. Another woman accused him of sexually assaulting her when she was just 17, along with two of his friends. Diddy has denied all the allegations, calling them false and saying that people are just out for a payday. As these legal battles continue, Diddy's public appearances have become rare. There are even reports that his private jet flew to Antigua, but he wasn't on board. Meanwhile, his business ventures are also taking hits. His longtime partnership with Diageo, the parent company of Chirac, is falling apart, with the spirits giant accusing him of being difficult to work with and threatening them to get his way. His once lucrative clothing brand, Sean John, is also fading, with Macy's announcing they're phasing out the collection after years of dwindling sales. From being a paperboy in Harlem to a rap billionaire, Diddy's rise to the top was a hustle. But now, he's in the middle of some heavy legal and business struggles that could put his legacy at risk. As it stands, Diddy is keeping a low profile, fighting off accusations, and trying to protect his empire. Where things go from here, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Diddy's story is far from over. Get him, call us, he weeded.